Such a good remix. Hey there everyone, this is Al Cow playing Banjo Kazooie, and this is it. There's a big pad with Tui's face on it. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I guess we're gonna go. So just a word of warning before it starts, we're gonna be doing something. I'm actually gonna need a lot of concentration to read things and parse things quickly. So, if my commentary ends up being a bit minimalistic, there's a reason for it, but here we go! Ah, this wonderful, wonderful place! Which, unfortunately, the Grunty's Furnace Fun, which can only play it once, because once you beat it, you can't play it anymore. This is why beating the game again was such a reward. Uh, yeah, through all my tricks and traps and lands, I went through all that. Final test uh, between the witch Gruntilda and the bear and bird combo, Banjo and Kazooie. And if we win, we get like a pretty cute plush doll of Grunty, so you know, like maybe we'll consider that. There's Potabos hopping around, don't worry about it. Tootie, I say, could probably just escape, but at the same time. Maybe there's magic holding her there, like, you know, like... Have we seen Gruntilda use magic? We saw her use a boat. Well, she first started flying on a magic stick. She went to witch school. Oh, boy. Yeah, press A to trust Barbara Bar. We're gonna activate this pot here. There's a pot behind here. This is important, but for later. Alright, well... Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. You go in a panel. Little answers, all she seeks about this game. So that's what I mean. Like, I'm gonna be on a timer. I'm gonna have to read the question and the answers, parse them, interpret, and answer in a time limit. Gertrobes in Castle Floor is missing a letter. Oh, which letter is there not? Uh, no, no, there are, there are no Qs. Yeah, there are no Qs. So yeah, if you lose, if if you if you get if you miss, you lose a health. That's why there are healths around. All right, all right. I think everyone figures it out. Eyeball. That's a different kind of game. Visual challenge. And then she calls me stupid. Tell me who it is. Or wait. So these I always thought were pretty fun. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? That's the sense. That is the sack of coal. Uh, yeah, that's a sack of coal. I think it's Clanker's Cavern, right from the coal room? No? No, I meant Dusty Bear Bucket, Bucket Bear. I meant Bucket, I meant Rusty Bucket when I said that. I don't know, and then, oh wow. Embarrassing. All right, but you saw I lost a health. Do you know, I, ha I know all the places I've been to. Oh man, taking, what is that? It's like, it's the hive. I think it's the hive and... Of all these... Yeah, it's a hive in autumn. Alright, so there you go. Uh, so, uh, this, what it is, is remember how Bruntilda kept, like, giving me sweet hints about the lifestyle of Grunty the Witch? Well, those are those questions, and I don't want to do those. Let's answer a question about the game. Clanker's Cavern Whale needed air. Accurate. Why did you swim through way down there? Uh, <laughs> it's a large key, the sound barrier. It's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, sound challenge. Uh, question on the sounds I play. Get it wrong to make her day. Listen up now, then make her choice. Which character has this dumb voice? Is that Trunker? Ah, yeah, see, sometimes they do a thing where, like, actually, like, just sometimes it's three valid answers, but sometimes they're, like, unrelated. So these are fun. If you win this, I get to clear a question. Yes, you win a Joker and help in Might. So let's give it a shot. It can be, I think, it can be any style of, uh, of question. Where have I been? It's a valid quest. Oh, that, well, that's easy. That's Gobi's Valley. That's the thing you ram into, and that opens up a pyramid door. Grunty, yeah, Gobi's Valley. There you go. Nope. There you go. Talk to a piranha. 
Alright, I don't think I want to do that skull though. So each Joker card that you have got, yeah, will skip one question. Yeah, and I think like you can cash in any time by pressing B while we're in the question scene. When on square, you get a gold fee. Alright, eyeball zone. I'm not gonna do the whole quiz, I don't think. Uh, that might take a while, is the thing. I know I've been through the trying to win every single question, but that's, uh, Treasure Trove Cove. Like, that's a lighthouse. Do you, you see what I was doing at the start of every video, though? Where I'd start with a weird, like, weird little screenshot? It was, it was a nod to this. I was having fun. Uh, Bubble Bloop Turtle, open Y, uh-huh, what did you hit to get? Well, his feet! I hit his feeties and I felt bad. <laughs> what if the answer was his butt? <laughs> Physical challenge, here we go! Uh, Paris over there, whack, pig, this test, uh, you won't come back. Alright, so these are physical challenge based on the game we've played. Alright, remember this scene? Name of your game, you must spell, alright. Backwards, though! Can I do that? I can't even spell blue eggs. Luckily, it's written on the back, so yeah, so E. Uh, I, and you get less time than when you do it for real, too, which is, you know, kind of a jerky move. But, like, it is written. Uh, that's gonna be Z. Here we go. So as long as we can follow. A. K. That's a gun. Now we're at Banjo, so where's another O? Where's another O? There it is. Um, the J over here. There's an N right there. And we're gonna need an A here. And then we got the B right at the start. Look at that. It's just hard enough to be kind of hard. Oh, all right, here we go. Timer spinning, animation playing, the crowd hates it. Alright, let's just sample one of these, just so we see what it looks like. Then you see how much you know of little old fur. Let's see if your memory's foggy. What? I can't believe they made rhyming questions for everything. Oh, uh, leg chomper, yeah. So, here's the trick about this, about this category of question. The first time you play it is the easiest, because in my memory, I have, you know, whatever Runtilda told me, right? But when you play the game multiple times, at some point, various memories of what the answers can be start to kind of get all jammed up inside you. So, if you fail a skull, you can guess what happens, then yeah, you just die instantly. So let's take a skullless path if we can. The box in the hold of Rusty Bay, how many to break would you say? Oh, uh, boom, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I'm not sure. Ah, it was fifteen. Alright, well, you know what, it's fine, because I can just eat this honey. Alright, interrupted you. A Mumbo's Mountain surrounded by sea. There's a Jinjo. A Mumbo's Mountain surrounded by sea. It. Blue? Okay. Mumbo's Mountain surrounded by sea. Oh, it's the one that's underwater. I guess that one makes sense. Alright, physical challenge. What are we doing? Hey, it's this game. The tiles await. Yeah, it's a tiles game, except the timer is a lot tighter than it was back then, and I don't remember a whole lot. So, alright, you're done. Alright, so, Banjo, I forget, that's a note, I don't think it's different tiles, this is that, you know, man, I don't remember any of this, so honeycomb there, egg there, Kazooie is there, Mumbo, honey, yeah, alright, that is a musical note, which I think was that note, I'm bad at this. Ah, dang, ah, I'm super bad at this. Uh, okay, Kazooie's there. So I think that that was Egg, though, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go up here, maybe. Jinjo. Jinjo, alright. Easy enough. Uh, Egg, going back to Egg. It will come to Egg. Eggs are good. Mumbo. I keep breaking the exact same ones all the time. I don't know, I'm very not great at this. Alright, so that's musical note. 
musical. Now it's gonna be mumbo and mumbo. All right, just long enough that you feel the stress. You know, it's very scary. Oh, the crowd hates it. You don't have a choice but to cross a skull at some point, huh? I mean, in that case, I should just take what I have, I feel like. All right, you know what? Skull time. See the picture. Oh, boy. Okay, but I have jokers, though. That's why I have jokers. Oh, but this is easy. This is Frizzy Peak. This is the the Christmas Village near uh, Mumbo, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and a monkey. Okay. I still had a moment of visitation. I have a moment of uncertainty. If I go here, I do have a chance at another bingo card, which might be Joker. All right, pick up items on the ground. Which one makes the silly sound? That's a uh, hexagon. Extra honeycomb piece. There you go. Like it's a pretty long, pretty long tune there. All right, double face. Click clock with the eagle's lame. Can you recall the stupid bird's name? I just met him. It's eerie. It's not beery nor goldy. That would be silly. That would be ridiculous. Eyeballs. See the picture on my screen. Do you know where you have been? Uh, maybe. Why is it so pale? Like, why is the color like that? Oh boy, this one I'm not sure. I think it's the house. No? I think I was wrong. <laughs> I thought it was the, the house that got built. No, 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 the texture around the door was all wrong. That's the house in Click Clockwood. Uh, See, yeah, no, yeah, I was super wrong. Jinxie, help me out here. Alright. Yeah, I'm going for the Joker, if I can. I'm not pretty, I'm quite a mess. What do I hide under my dress? Uh... Flea Circus? Okay. That one I was a lot less sure about. Alright, Joker time! The galley fridge and rusty bay, tell me what on the shelves- It's eggs! It's eggs! It's Kazooie eggs that are in the fridge. I remember noticing that. I, I thought it was funny. Alright, well, might as well continue on this path and take the musical route. As I'm now then make a choice, which character has this dumb voice? Why I said that? That's Snorkel! That's Snorkel the Dolphin! We saw him very briefly get ripped apart by an anchor- yeah, Snorkel and all. I'm pretty sure I learned a name from this game. <laughs> Alright, another musical stylings of Banjo Kazooie and friend. Make a choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That's. Bogey? I think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, was a. had a slightly different voice, and the other character doesn't exist. Now there's a skull there protect- Oh, hey! It's this fight. Mighty big box, you must fight, but be quick as time is tight. Alright, let's show him what true valor looks like. So this is something I didn't do while fighting him originally. It's, uh... Yeah, it's not yeah okay, I can see the 15 now. Like, is this the most efficient way of fighting boss boom box? No, but it's fun. <laughs> he just kind of exists, and then he dies. Uh, the smart way to go, I think, is to destroy the big versions, like, normally, and then jump in like that. Rusty base crane hangs over the side, it holds a box. Uh, dynamite, explosives. Uh, close enough, three extra lives. Hey, Aerie, I just answered a question about you. Hi, balls! See the picture on my screen, do you know where you have been? What's with the... I mean, like, that's the sandcastle. We were right there not long ago. Well, uh, that kind of rhymed. Yeah, Treasure Trove Cove. I'm featuring a bee. Alright, Grunty, I know all about your fan club. If you want to hear us, I can tell. In which band do I sing so well? Oh, shoot. I think it's the Cauldron Crew? Wow, okay. 
So here I can get a Joker, but I need to venture... I have enough cards now to make the rest, so I'm okay. What did I do on the cover shot? Ride your broomstick, right? Yeah, that was your famous trick. Like, it's just, it's such, just such a classic move. There's, like, not even, like, a joke there. Listen up now to make your choice. Which character has this dumb voice? That's Chimpy. Fun fact, sometimes her voice is there, but instead she says this cool voice. It's pretty, it's pretty good. Chimpy the Chimp. They tried really hard with the names. But I don't know if you would know Chimpy's name, so this is more of a remember who you talked to way back then. Hey, it's the bees. Uh, little stings that make a bear shout to whack them all before time is out. All right, ooh, 30 seconds though. Whoops. All right, you know what? This is how you fight bees when you're being irrational agents of law and order. I did it! <laughs> like, Wonder Wing is kind of broken. Man, I want to keep playing. This is going pretty well. Let's do it. There's a bunch of skulls there. Like, let's. I want to just do an extra here for fun. See the picture on the screen. Do you know where you have been? What is that? Like, I know I've seen that, but what is that? It's like a vault. I'm thinking. I don't know. Okay. Well, see. When multiple questions, when you don't know. Just kind of go with your instincts. Like, that's just kind of the way to go, right? Alright. Big double face. They have a tower in which they hide. A Mumbo's Mountain, what's inside? Termites! Ticker the termite. Okay, talking about this person in particular. All this time. Alright. I If I don't know, I have a joker. Oh, it's winter is dull. What's Mumbo's doing? He's on vacation. He's not there. He's on vacation. He's not even there. He is not even there. They even have a sign model to go there. It's kind of neat how you have to answer one question about Grunty at the very least. I love to glide. What type of broomstick do I ride? Do I know that? Did I miss... Yeah, I that did not ring any bells. I like them fried, acquired a treat. What for breakfast do I eat? Is that beans? No. Tadpole on toast, I remember that. I actually remember that. Now that I saw it, I'm gonna do this question so I can heal for fun. Turtles got a treasure hunt. How many? E oh, is it five? Crud. I'm gonna go with five. Oh, it was six. Well, see, I'm go here for the health, and then I lose health. So, so, Gobi's cactus conceals a pride. I don't think it's conceal. I think it's it's very, very obvious. But yeah, it's that thing you fly into. I want that one up. I'm just I'm just doing extra squares for fun because this is legitimately a lot of fun. Yeah, picture. All right. Do you know where you have been? Like I'm not willing to. Oh, that's bubble swamp. That's very easy. Uh, I'm not willing to commit to do a full board, but I'm still gonna do just a few extra. Yeah, that's a uh, bubble group swamp with Thinker. He wasn't there. He would like it though. There's plenty of water there. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. you can go through two skulls for an extra life if you want it. Ah, but no, no. Our sister is ostensibly on the line there, frightened over there in the corner. I should do good. In Treasure Trove within this game, what is the leaking bucket's name? It's just whole, it's just leaky, right? I just... I, sh I felt like I should have just jokered if I wasn't sure, but that just didn't feel right, you know? It's the last question. <laughs> oh, man, that's so good. It is just as good. Like, I love it because it's like, all right. How much have you paid attention to this game? Have you played it or have you been sleepwalking through it? And I love it. I just love it, love it, love it. It's so good. It's so fun. More games should do things like that. And yeah, I mean, thing is, yeah, there's a lot more board to it, but you saw more or less what it was all about, you know? <laughs> I love how Banjo asks! <laughs> I love how they also don't just pick everything. <laughs> 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 
Wow, that's just mean. See, Kazooie, you don't know how to say a joke. That's just mean-spirited. Your shadow is sinking through your feet to tea. That's how we know you're cute. Oh my gosh, the doll is moving. All right, we did it. We beat the game. Oh my god, that's what Tilda. Yeah, chief of ideas with Greg. Well, I could not read the whole name there. That text went quickly. That was Tootie. Look at that. Yeah. And uh, George Blubber Andreas is to be blamed for more I more more ideas more though. Remember bottles? He kind of stops appearing about halfway through. I mean, fair enough. I'm glad he didn't try to force more moves that weren't needed. That's a Jinjo. Oh, they look weird. It's like they have a dress, but a flesh. That is really weird. Hey, it's Mama Jumbo. That's right. He's got a stick. He can shake. And a big plucker is around whether you want to or not. Everyone remembers Juju! Whoa, spinning and tapping keyboards. What a great guy. Look, if you want to make a cool, fun credit lineup that takes 10 times longer than it has any rights to be, this is how you do it. Hey, it's Naked Dee Dee. Still looks weird to me. He just looks too much like Dee Dee. And without his shirt and his hat, it's just weird. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, I keep saying Bruntilda. <laughs> just replacing that B with that G, I guess. That's how you do things here in Canada. Hey, Captain Hippo. Blubber. Did you lose the gold I got you? Or was this just recorded previously? I uh, Everything is possible. Ah, Nipper, the world's most powerful boss in the game. There's not a whole lot of bosses in the game. There's like two. Hey, it's Clanker. He's a cool guy. And he knows the scene craner. I don't know what that is, but he knows it. That tanked up. I answered a question about hitting you on the feet. Isn't that great? Mr. Pryles just kind of swaying back and forth. Uh, I love the shape of his legs. <laughs> and there's Tip Top also living in Boo Swamp inside a giant turtle. That's what he does, he says, shrugging. Bogey is taking a nap on the snow. He's gonna be alright. Uh, Man, remember when I said that this takes way too long though, like it does take a while, but it doesn't matter. Like it's full of personality, even if it's just showing off all the NPCs, and boy howdy, there's a lot of NPCs. There's a lot of them! There's a lot of models, and you know what? This is a nice opportunity to take a time and to look at all these models they modeled. Like for the N64, these look fantastic, you know? Lots of life, lots of movement, and trunker. Uh, he sounds like suffering and I hate it though. But he's there with his weird mouth. Big old garage mouth. If you got a Chevy, you need a part. Call Trunker! And make everything awkward for everyone. For the first part, he's not gonna be able to show up because he's a tree and he can't move. Also, you don't call the freaking garage the part. Hey, that doesn't make any sense. It's Gobi! Ah. Uh, that poor Gobi. We just, we just tortured a poor guy. Just keep on bopping on his neck, on his back, all the way. Ruby and Toots! Uh, Toots is adorable. And here's that guy, yeah. It's a strange noisemaker. Eveline's twin, please, Fisher. Yeah, oh, okay, there's a lot of noisemakers. Gotta make those noise. Those teeth, though. Whoa. <laughs> Like, I heard the skeleton that lives in Logo's room there, and that kind of freaked me out more than Logo. Logo's eyes ensure that he's looking at your thing when you're doing your business. That's really unfortunate. And poor Snorkel has to say so much while being crushed by this anchor. Like, what? What are you doing? Poor guy. Do you think they did that on purpose? I wouldn't be surprised. Naughty likes to count beans! He's living dead. Uh, maybe he doesn't like to. He just has to. And that's eerie. Is that how is that how you would pronounce it? Eerie? Iry? I've always thought eerie. I don't actually know. There's nab nuts. Big old clump of peanut textures. Yeah! 
You get to say the copyright information. I know that's cute. Honestly, that is a cute model of a squirrel. Big head. Whoa, look at that. It's action time. This is happening on its own. I'm not playing. Fade that tree in. Yeah! Oh, Mansell's getting tired. Like, he... He's been doing a lot of running. <laughs> I love how in the thing, they go out of their way to kill this enemy for no reason. It's just such a playing thing to do. It's so good. All right, it's party time! Yeah, no, drinking a non-alcoholic beverage, like, oh, juice. Here we go, look at that! We got a barbecue, we got Vangel's goldfish on a barn. That's just weird. Are they, are they aware that Mambo is frying that fish? That seems kind of a bit dark. All right, look at that, frying some, some fruits there. I mean, it's true, we wouldn't be able to beat the game without the moves that you know how to do. How did you teach a bird how to fly, bottles? What's that? Oh, I guess that's a radio in the back. Alright, a lot of those dance moves, though, right? Oh, right, that's right, Granite went away. <laughs> it's just... Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is so done. This is so done! <laughs> And we're right back here. That's so dumb and I love it. Alright, alright, whoa! Man, alright, let's go up those stairs. Those stairs, those stairs Grunty ran up. Well, we can ran up those also if we try. Oh, music took a much speakier, speakier, spookier spin. And there's a one up in this window. Can you get- I uh, guess all the puzzles to get it! Here's another warp. It's so you don't have to go through the whole board. I guess. I mean, fair enough. And yeah, uh, you cannot access the board game anymore, by the way, at this point. You want it, it's done. No one's gonna operate it anymore. So make sure you have at least 810 notes by the time you get here. That is a lot of notes. Oh, by the way, Hope you still got a lot of these, huh? Cause you need like a lot of jiggies for this one. There we go, look at that, one from 31 to 6. And that is the means to smash open that door. Oh, she's still at the top, is there anything here? Oh, hey, look at that, that's a transformation machine room. Hey buddy, he's trying to operate a machine, but... He's not able to. Wow, you are tough. Uh, you should have sent more of you guys down the lair. But yeah, you can't interact with it, sadly. But it's so rad that it's here, though. Hey, that's a nice touch. Alright, so here's this little room. With... Hmm, nice little man here. With the teeth sticking out. Visitors for Ding Pot! Too bad we're not here for you directly. I'm sorry. And Kazoo is just being a jerk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, accurate. We're going to tell her she's on top of the thing. Like she just said that in the narration. Uh huh. Oh, that's what? That's a thing to just kind of say. <laughs> See, the lesson here is if you're abusive to your employee, they'll get back to you, which is good. So look at that, you're threatening him to become, to, be, to become laundry, washing pot. See, like, why would he help you out when clearly this bird-brain-bear combo will do something good? Gee, I wonder if there's a proper final fight if we jump into this pot. Probably, but we're not doing that today. Here's some more prizes if you got those. Uh, so I believe what this does is just like it's like it's a refill, right? Yeah, it's just instant refill, which is pertinent actually. Uh, I don't think this is a this is a wild thing to announce here, but last boss is gonna involve uh, a lot of the verbs you've been doing all game. Here's this one here for reds, I think, yep. 
Oh wait, there's that's all my consumables. So what's in this last uh, door here? The largest door of all. 882 precisely. <laughs> so you're allowed a little bit of let to unlock everything, but here it is, the actual last painting. Which is extremely powerful in its effect. It literally, and I kid you not, doubles your health. Now you get red health and yellow health. It is absolutely insane. And you still get a whole two jiggies let. Those two extra jiggies will never be used. You don't need to get absolutely everything. They want you to get everything, but they're not gonna punish you for not getting everything. Yeah, you just said that. I'm trying to have a moment before I finish the video, but yeah, no, see, they, they want to... Banjo-Kazooie is built on rewarding the player. They, they're gonna push you to do as much as you can, but are not gonna punish you. And that's such a hard balance to find.